guys, let's continue with subtopic 2.2, charging and discharging of capacitors. In this subtopic, we have two learning outcomes. The first one is to state the physical meaning of time constant. Next, to explain the characteristic of charge against time and current against time graph for charging and discharging of capacitor. Before we start, let's see how is charging of capacitor happens. Initially, both plates are neutral, but then, when the circuit is complete, the current begins to flow with its electron will flow out and accumulate at one of the plate. It happens until it leaving only positive charge on another plate. The potential difference is increasing and the current is reduced until the maximum voltage across the capacitor is equal to the voltage supplied from the battery. At this particular time, the capacitor has maximum charge. Next, how is discharging of capacitor happens? Electrons flow out from one of the plate through the resistor and neutralize another plate. It causes the potential difference is reduced. This happens until the current through the resistor is zero. At this moment, all the charges at the plate is fully neutralized. So the first learning outcome is to state the physical meaning of time constant. Time constant appears in the exponent for all the equations for both charging and discharging process of the capacitor. And the formula is given by tau is equals to Rc, where R is the resistance in ohm and C is the capacitance in farad. Its unit is second since it is time and it's a scalar quantity. It is measure of how quickly the capacitor charges or discharges. Please remember that the definition of time constant depends on the process, either it is charging or discharging and also the quantity, whether it is charge, voltage or current. Let's see, time constant for charging process. The definition of time constant for charging process is the time constant is defined as the time required for the capacitor to increase to 63% of its maximum charge or voltage. Or we can also say that the time constant for charging process is defined as the time required for the current across the resistor to decrease to 37% of its initial value. Meanwhile, the time constant for discharging process is defined as the time required for the charge on the capacitor or voltage across capacitor or current in the resistor to decrease to 37% of its initial value. Next, the learning outcome is to explain the characteristics of QT and IT graph for charging and discharging process. Let's see for charging of capacitor. Here we have the graph of Q against T and I against T. For Q against T, the number of charges in the capacitor increases exponentially until fully charged where Q0 is the maximum number of charges as you can see as the shape of the graph here. Meanwhile, for I against T, as the capacitor store more and more charges, the rate of charge flow, which is the current, decreases and finally, when the capacitor is full, there will be no more charges flow and the current in the circuit falls to zero. Next, to explain the characteristic of QT and IT graph for discharging of capacitor. As for discharging of capacitor, for Q against T graph, the number of charges in the capacitor decreases exponentially until fully discharged when the charges are reduced to zero. Meanwhile, for I against T graph, as it discharges more charges, the rate of charge flow, which is the current, increases until all the charges are used up by the resistor.